Good after good afternoon, evening, Luke, Nick, and Broncos country. Hey, Nick, the latest mocks on uh, CBS have Denver taking Dean. I know Hackett interviewed, but is Quinn the favorite at the moment to be named head coach? Uh, yeah, the Broncos are going to have a lot of mocks from here on out, and the Broncos picking at about nine. Luckily for the Broncos, outside of quarterback, you know, there's a lot of directions they could go. So best player available, if that's Dean at nine, I I get it. I don't really think he is a a linebacker worthy of a top 10 pick. Like he needs to reach that Luke Keekley, Devin white level of talent to be considered for that. And I don't see that with a uh, Nicobe Dean at six foot, 220 pounds, but uh, you know, we'll see how it plays out. Scheme is going to be really important here. Tyler. We appreciate you. No, I want Denver to take Devin Lloyd. Devin Lloyd is my favorite player in the draft. And I watched him at every Utah game this year. Holy cow. Yeah. Devin Lloyd, Nick. Yeah, he's really fun. Um, he reminds me a lot of Fred Warner coming out. Uh, the movement skills, the flexibility in the hips, uh, kind of like in his drop zones, literally looking like a safety. So I do like Devin Lloyd a lot. He's not going to end up in the top 10 for me in this draft class, but if the Broncos are trading down into that 15 to 25 range, yep. if Nicobe Dean or uh, Devin Lloyd are there, sign me up. I think that's about the area where I'm looking at those kind of guys. There is not a Micah Parsons level height, weight, sp speed athlete in this class. There's not a uh Luke Keekley where he's like just moving differently than any other player on the field like he was back at Boston College kind of player but that's okay uh this draft class in general is not as talented at the top as last season uh but right now I don't think I would have either of those guys penciled in for me at nine there are a number of other options that I would be more interested in uh at this point in time 